Hello, hello. Hi, crafty friends. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to be working on one of the new toppers. This is one of the Foliage Forever designs, which is all about creating mats, usable designs for the use with your handmade flowers, punched, die cut, stamped. Now there's lots of different ways of achieving this. You might have stamped leaves, stamped foliage. You might have a die this shape, but it's just showing you how I put the flowers down and how I create the designs together. So this is one of the single sheets. I also have a kit available. Let's just turn that over so nothing sticks to it. And this is a seven page kit. So we have a large wreath design with sentiments. Now, the idea with these is you can cut the sentiments down as just little rect rectangles or squares, mat and layer them, or you could use your shaped dies. I've got some little hexagonal dies that I got free with my die cutting machine. There is large punches, there's all sorts. So it was just to give you a little bit of versatility on the sheet rather than putting a, a sentiment on the main design itself. I thought I would give you the options of what to pop on it. So everything, as you can see, is very foliage themed. This was designed as a back and paper for it or printed on the cardstock. You can fold over and actually make your card blanks out of it, which is something I've been doing quite a lot often quite a lot of them <laughs> oh, it's been one of them days so the next topper sheet in there is a lovely hexagonal rectangle card both birthdays sentiments included on there you also have a lovely polka dot design paper and then i've also included two inserts so you have your landscape insert and a portrait insert so I hope you like those. They are up on the website at the moment, available to buy. So you have your kit. Or if you just want to give it a try and see if it's for you, the single sheet is available on its own. So I'm just winging it today. I haven't actually got anything planned. So let's see where it takes us. So I'm going to start by trimming this down. take a sheet of 300 gsm super smooth bright white cardstock i'm going to take those corners together just give it a, a gentle press then use my bone folder just give it a firm press down and that will create you a beautiful sturdy 300 gsm card blank to start working off so i'm just going to eyeball this Pop the card blank to one side for the moment. And this is the smaller of the two. So I'm just going to trim that down a bit because I'm going to do a bit of matting and layering. And this one's for our carol. I said I would do this in one of the videos. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to ruffle down the sides. And it's just roughing the edges up a little bit. There are tools available online if you think you would struggle with this and you want to buy a specific tool to do it. <clears throat> Tim Holtz do one. There I think memory, we on memory keepers do one as well. But I've got a nice sharp edge on these scissors. So I'm just going to use these. So there's my edges all roughed up. Just take off any excess. And then I'm going to layer it onto a little bit of lilac cardstock just to pull through some of the colours of the cards that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take my tape pen
just for speed for the video. You can also use double sided tape or a wet glue as well if you're using cardstock. So, just eyeballing it, nothing too precise. And just want a little bit of a lilac showing right around the outside. Again, tip him. Trim that down. me a little bit of a gold border around there. Apologies if I am on the wonk because I'm reaching right over to, <laughs> to record because that's where my phone cradle is. So now the fun part, looking at what I'm gonna pop on here. So let's get this popped onto the card blank. Now, making my own card blank, I chose to use 300 GSM, which is the thickest card that I can readily available in the, buy in the shops, because I want it to be quite sturdy, because by the time you've added all your flowers and everything, it can be quite heavy, and you don't want the front of the card toppling over under the weight. So I'm just going to set that aside for one moment. That's the card blank prepared. <clears throat> so I had a, was having a clear last night. You know, I love making flowers. So I was having a go at these little foam, foam flowers with my dyes. If you like these and you would like us to do a little video on them, then please let us know got some little ones here so I just thought I would give you a little bit of a, a snippet <clears throat> so I have an iron just a household iron nothing fancy now I've taken these little flowers and I have these particular ones are from dreamies it's off a little set so it's this one here and I've just cut them out Popped a little bit of ink on both sides. When I'm using the foam rather than my card or paper, I tend to colour both sides because you get so much more shape on them and it's quite nice to have a bit of colour on the other side of the petals. It just makes them look a little bit more realistic. So, take my ball tool. I have got a flower forming video that I did a few years ago. So if you want to go back and have a look, but I do have lots more different dyes so I'm, I'm tempted to do some more videos so if you would like to see that please do let us know in the comments and um, I'll do some videos for you so the iron's on very very hot please keep your fingers away from the hot plate all I'm doing is popping it on the iron a few seconds and then take it away and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to give them petals a little pinch at the end And then open it back up. These are just going to be single layers. I'm just using them as filler flowers. So again, on the hot plate, making sure my fingers are nowhere near the hot surface. One, two, three, and take it off. So move the iron out of the way because we don't need it anymore. What I'm going to do is while there's still heat in the foam, just press it together so all the petals are lined up and then I'm just going to give them a little twist on the end just to add a little bit of shape and then open them out and then taking me flower form and form mat and my ball tool I'm just going to give these a little bit of a, a 
press just to give the petals a little bit of shape, a little bit of definition. And as I say, these are just filler flowers. How you do these, all different techniques, all different ways of how I've stretched and how I've formed the flowers. So if that is something you would like to see, let us know in the comments. And not everyone has a die cut machine, so I'm trying to cater for all. So, using my little Fiskars six petal flower punch, which is quite small. What I've done is I've punched out some of these and I've punched them out onto paper. This is a 170 GSM, so a heavyweight paper. And what I've done is I've coloured these in the same way as I've coloured those, just so you can see the difference of how they look on the paper and cardstock as how they look on form. Let's see which is the look you want to achieve yourself when you're making them. I love using foam. I don't use it nearly as much as I would like to, but I tend to just make foam flowers for special cards for close family members and friends. Just because it is a lot more expensive to make, you, you really do whiz through the foam quite quickly. So it is more expensive to make. This is a much cheaper option using paper or card. And obviously, if you're just starting out, it's a lot easier to experiment on these. <clears throat> so just turning them over and giving them a press in the centre. Sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. <laughs> it must be tea time. Turn them over, sharp press in the centre. And then I'm just going to set these aside for the moment. I'm just going to take my card blank. Now, when I've, I've formed these, I've popped stamens in the centre. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip off those stamens because I don't need them anymore. Now this is going to be my focal flower, which is in the centre, so I'm going to pop some glue on there and I'm just going to sit him right in the centre there. I love the shaping on those petals of the dreamy styles, they're really, really pretty. <clears throat> so, snipping the stamen at the bottom because I don't need that. Got a bit of glue on the bottom. And that one's going to sit just there. <clears throat> and then this little foam one, I am just going to sit him up at this side. Use my ball tool because that's very, very uh, slim in the middle. Just want to make sure I don't catch my fingers. And then I'm going to add to the design. So this is the, the, the whole point of these designs is creating you a nice base to work off. Just to give you a little bit of confidence. So I'm going to take some of the flower forming, uh, foliage and flower forming sheets. This one's the ivy variegated leaf and I'm just going to give that a nice bit of shape on the other side. Turn it over and give it a shape on the front. Same again. Turn it over and give it a press there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him sitting underneath that flower there and I'm going to pop him up here because I'm just going to extend where the, the foliage and the flowers come up on this side just because I've got more flowers than now these would also be great with my little 
tiny flower punches and you could just add lots of tiny little flowers and then that'll be they still work flat for for mailing so it's completely up to you on the style of card <clears throat> how much depth allowance you have if you're popping it in the mail and i'm just going to pop that little ivy leaf down there use my ball tool just to make sure i've got a good contact with the adhesive and then i'm going to add in some of these little paper and card ones that we've just made Let's see if you can tell when it's finished which ones are the paper and card and which ones are the foam so i'm going to use this one like a little bud him up here. I'm pop. That one here. I hope you like how that's coming together now as i say i'm just winging it i didn't have this plan so what do we think of a little stamen in the center right so the good thing with these stamens is when you are coloring flowers like this you can actually color the stamens too so just to make sure that the colors are Perfectly matching. I'm going to take this lovely purple ink, which is what I used for colouring the foam and the flowers. I'm going to take that and I'm going to pop a little bit of colour. And this is just a makeup applicator brush. Cheap and cheerful. You can usually get these at the dollar store or the pound store for quite a few. I do love my smoothies but it gets very expensive you've got to buy them for every color that you have so when i'm just doing flowers in small areas i tend to just buy these and then i can have a different one for and just keep turning it around It doesn't have to be fully covered. All I'm doing is just trying to put down some of the same colour just to tie it all through. Another way you can do it is take the stamen straight direct to the ink pad and press down if you want a darker effect. There we go, there's the little stamens coloured. Right, so I'm playing Hunt the Tweezers. I'm sure everybody out there has had a play of that game at one time or another. There they are. They're never where you need them to be or where you remember popping them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little buds, the little stamen tops, off the stems. And I, I don't throw these away because I use them for different things. So, waste not, want not. Right, now, just because it is a little bit fiddly, I am just going to pop a little bit of Wet glue, actually, changed my mind. I'm going to pop some on the card here just because it's not plain ball. There must be a little bit of an air block in the stem. So 
I'm just going to take my tweezer, pick up the borders, pop some wet glue on it, and then I'm just going to pop that in the centre. Don't worry if you can see the glue now, it does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Pop that one in there. <clears throat> That one I've not quite cut off enough, so then it won't stand proud. So cut a little bit more off there into the wet glue. Now I was going to do some of these gorgeous little lilac flowers in here, but I don't actually think it needs it. So there's my little card done. <clears throat> don't know who that's for yet. When I do, I'll use one of those sentiments out of the kit and I'll do a little matte and layered sentiment and pop it in the centre. <sighs> but that's pretty much my card done. I hope you like it and if you do want us to see if you do want us to do more of the flower making videos then please let us know in the comments thank you so much for joining me take care i'll see you in the next video bye